Okay, Dr. Liang, you chose some specific Chinese herbs to show us today. Would you please tell us why you chose these specific Chinese herbs, what the names are, and what you use them to treat? Yes. In my office, I have over 300 different kind of uh, this type of herb. We call that a raw herb. Okay. I pick up someone because um, they look so pretty in here. And also, I, I often use them to treat some condition, you know. And the first one is a uh, is, uh, Jin Tan root. We also call that Long Dan grass. Okay. This is one of the liver cleansing uh, remedy. Uh, they use this one. Okay, and this one are very good to uh, purge the damp heat from the liver, they clean the liver. Okay, it's good if you drink alcohol and in the, after the drink alcohol you should take this type of herb. But this, this type of herb, the taste is very bitter, so I, I really go to my remedy because once you're drinking those liquids, it can be very bitter. But the uh, good news is we have a liver cleansing pills, so I would suggest people just regularly include myself because when you, when you have stress, you know, you, stress is going to hurt the liver, you regularly need a liver cleansing. Some people have high intensive work like a doctor, lawyer, or uh, like uh, Wall Street people, they they will they will really need this type of uh, it keeps the liver function good because many many diseases is because the liver disorder first and then involve other organ according to traditional Chinese medicine. This one similar. This go to liver and the gallbladder. This one name is a uh, scutellaria. Uh, Scutellaria, Huangqin. This herb go to actually is go to lung meridian. This one, but also is a is a good for uh, you know purchase the liver uh, liver damp heat. So when I give a remedy, uh, this one tastes better. So <laughs> when I need to treat the heat syndrome and uh, clean the liver, I will choose this one. This one very good for treat a lung problem like a bronchitis, pneumonia. So this is actually the copper organ, uh, copper uh, herb. This one, this one we call that prepared acornate root. This is a very, very special one. They put a prepared first. Why we have to prepare this one? Because if we use this one raw, this is already prepared. Once they distribute to the herbology, they already prepared for it. Um, this herb have a toxic, okay? And later on, we have to talk about the herb toxicity. So if you don't prepare it, it can hurt you. They, they, they will work on the central nervous system, you know, can cause a lot of, you know, can very uh, critical side effect, you know. So, uh, but once they prepare it, there's no side effect. And this is a great herb. Is a function is uh, strengthens the kidney yang. Uh, anything like uh, adrenal gland weakness, you know, and uh, like, for example, like um, hypothyroidism, this is a, this is a must herb. Okay, the, the, the different, even though I tell you this herb is good for hypothyroidism, you still have to go to herbologist to use it because there's a combination because Chinese medicine don't use a single herb. And also dosage. Dosage, I'm not going to release in here. A dosage is very important. If you take very little, it doesn't work. If you took overdose, it can hurt you also because the Chinese herbal medicine is a is a it's a strong medicine. It's not like you can go drugstore or go online to order by yourself. You have to uh, ha, have to be guided by the well trained herbologist. And this one also can like uh, man like uh, impotence. This one also can treat uh, uh, can rescue people when we you know have. Uh, but this we really meet people. We really people fainted or cardiac uh, you know shock you know they will go to emergency room but this one in Chinese medicine we can rescue people also I oh, I use this one to treat the night urination like uh, weakness of the kidney chi cause people frequently at night time have to pee and then they cannot sleep well and the next day have no energy and this is a perfect herb hypothyroidism uh, and some gynecology like infertility caused by the by the weakness of kidney chi, like uh, like uh, like the uh, uterine coldness can cause infertility, can cause uh, people cannot conceive, and this is a must-use herb. Also, it's depending on the diagnosis. 
Okay. This is astragalus. Astragalus is uh, everyone, uh, most people know it is a uh, is one of the herb can boost immune system. Okay. This go to spleen and go to uh, lung, spleen, uh, uh, and meridian. Okay. It's a uh, number one boost immunity herb. But you cannot only use this herb. If you only use this one, it could have that effect. But you must combine with a second herb. That's why I put this seed in here. This seed mean, name is a uh, fructus ligastri uh, lucidi. Nujunzi. Nujunzi is a uh, is a look like a kidney, right? Very very small, you know, seed. So this herb has to combine with astragalus. By this way, it can achieve the maximum result for the uh, boost the immune system. This, this can treat uh, like uh, people explore to the radiation and uh, also like a cancer treatment, like after chemotherapy radiation, you, uh, we must use it in the remedy for them. Good. Okay, the last one is uh, as a, uh, Attracted lotus. I mentioned I have a number of them in similar the same family herb is this one is can it remove the mucus remove dampness and mucus this strengthens the this go to spleen meridian also uh, go to the stomach meridian uh, so it can treat uh, candida because candida is so common you know and the candida uh, we call that syndrome it can cause dizziness it can cause a uh, uh, tumor in our body, uh, ovarian cyst, uh, uh, uterine fibroid, and high cholesterol, and uh, acid reflux, indigestion, you know. So the candida, uh, everyone should watch out with this because uh, you may not have symptom now, but later on when you have symptom, it will be very difficult to treat because the mucus is not easy to come out. This one of them, I have uh, at least another six of them can treat, uh, remove the mucus. So this also can give you energy, this herb. Good. Thank you, Dr. Liang. You're welcome. Mm -hmm.